Omni Man. The invincible <laughs> champion. Oh, yeah, her, he's invincible. The world's greatest superhero, brought to you by Vought International. Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb than the very first, Superman. But what if absolute power did, in fact... So is he supposed to be like corrupt absolute. Superman? Answer, we're all screwed. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's <laughs> he our was beating the hell out of his son. To find out who would win a death <laughs> He was beating the mess out of his son. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Omni Man. <laughs> Had you go in there for a second, huh? Uh, not really. His name is in the title of the video. Well, you might be forgiven for mistaking. Yo, that was so crazy too. Comic inspiration. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide. Bro, I hate that AGI. mustache. Born on the planet Viltrum, Nolan was he don't have nothing else. Just all mustache. Alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his utopian home world. <laughs> he said really wants his son to <laughs> think. <laughs> Omni Man, there was no one better suited to the task. He saved the world countless times, worked alongside the guardians of the globe, and even married and had a son, Mark. Life couldn't be better until Mark inherited his dad's Viltrumite powers. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Bro, it was murdering it was everybody. Exactly peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Peaceful in the sense that they called half their population, murdering billions with their bare hands until only the strongest were left, united by a common purpose. This Viltrumite empire then went on to conquer planet after planet in their murdering. Own galaxy, murdering any who dared oppose them. So just scratch that whole peaceful part entirely. And turns out Omni Man was here to do that same thing to Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your dad's a dick. Even worse. Ooh, I forgot. Ooh, I forgot about that. Oh, that was just. I can't wait for season two, bro. <laughs> of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. And what you get is basically a Viltrumite. Due to their unique DNA, Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats. Smart like atoms? For weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. Kind of reminds me of that whole what? thing Superman has. That's basically how comic Yeah, that's a super, uh, super superpower I rock with. Powers. Except smart atoms make even less sense. How can atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely nonsensical biological hogwash that I cannot stand. Uh oh, comics fans. I'm calling this debunk. Debunk. Viltrumites can fly. Out of all the trash that y'all be putting up in here, you talking about debunk? Yeah, talking about quintillatons of TNT? the stomach having your guts ripped out or having your face smashed up in a tomato soup mm. i don't mean to exaggerate but viltrumites in this series get fucked up and mm. somehow survive however too much trauma to the brain or heart can overtax their healing factor appreciate that tier one my boy can be especially damaging even the most powerful bad, bro. I'm recording. Can be killed by <laughs> thank you though ready spicy hot plasma of a star and because of their abilities their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular humans intense sonic pressure will disrupt their fragile equilibrium and even prevent them from flying oh so themselves to their physical limits only ends up making them way stronger and considering nolan has been alive and planet conquering for thousands of years he is easily one of the toughest viltrumites around like other aliens attacking him will literally splatter their bodies against him but Mark didn't inherit Oh, that's you that bad. strong that if Despite somebody run into you, they die. I was raised as a human with our weak, pathetic human values like love and compassion and not brutally murdering the shit out of everyone you see like a maniac. Really made it difficult for Nolan to relate to his kid. Such as when these aliens invaded Earth. Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. And was Nolan, game. meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their home world, then spent some time systematically annihilating their planet for even daring to take Earth from him. Classic generational divide. Bro. Is underselling it. No Yo, he's no killing fans. Homelander, bro. He's fire. killing a Homelander. Countrysized explosion. No, Homelander not doing this. Omni Man has flown across galaxies in only a week, survived punching a hole through Yo, a planet, it's and even over. a meteor the size of Texas. Assuming that means the diameter of the meteor is equivalent to the distance from the top of the panhandle to the Gulf of Mexico, that would make it 1,300 kilometers wide. And weigh over 4.6 quintillion tons, moving at re-entry speeds of over 11,000... The real villain in the show is the girlfriend, for sure, for sure. How is you gonna get mad at my man for trying to keep you and his secret identity a secret and safe? And then get... You know what? 
seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. I'm a Viltrumite. Be blowing stuff up. He'd have to go through his son first. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery, spurred on by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet, a disposable broodmare, invincible, fought Omni-Man to save the He said she's a pet? And that's when Mark Who's? Viltrumite training began. Get it? Training? Bro, Training? that is crazy. He Jesus. made you kill everybody and made you watch. He may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite. He got his ass beat. fled Earth with tears in his eyes. Mark made his father human. He got his ass This episode is sponsored by Better. Oh my God. Bro, he got beat to a pulp, boy. Feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, oh and more. <laughs> like, like death battle every week definitely wipes me and Wiz out once in a while. He can't <laughs> think, boy. His brain is beat to shit. <laughs> he cannot well, think, bro. He done killed the whole. He done killed them there at least a whole apartment complex full of full of people on a train with his son's face and made his son watch. Like. Fucking red. Someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat Better help. with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It can be more affordable than in-person therapy, <laughs> and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Death Battle viewers get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp. Come on, Come on man. Death That's better H-E-L-P. Homelander, no, don't get me wrong. Homelander is crazy. But he's not, he's not strong enough. I don't think he's strong enough. Let's see. multi-billion dollar American conglomerate whose number one products are the greatest superheroes on the face of the earth. Because these superheroes, superheroes ain't even, they can die. Big business. Imagine a company that possesses a monopoly on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly, drowning the masses in a slurry of focus-tested nostalgia opium with no end in sight. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that man name is Ocean Lad. Pantheon of gods among men is their premier super team, the Seven, and its leader, Homelander. He's got the looks, the charm, the Jesus, and most importantly, he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies. Wait, they got the abroad. Oh my God! Freedom and shitsy. They got their own show. Squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep. Far from the big blue boy scout he's marketed as, <laughs> he's tripping. The thing to Lucifer on he's Earth. tripping, bro. Bad future Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> he said, the enjoy the tension, fame, and milk. And media training. <laughs> official he's dying, bro. Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby, a tale we're all familiar with. And one that's total bullshit. Homie was made in a lab with Vought's proprietary super soldier serum. Compound V. And he was a complete success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified scientists before his umbilical cord was even cut. In the comics, Vought had to keep a remote-controlled hydrogen bomb strapped to him at all times because they had no idea what else... Strapped to his ass? As he grew up, he was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most... Yo, this is crazy. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander. He's a demon, Homelander evil American Superman. Dream. Homelander possesses massively superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He can fly at hypersonic superhuman speeds, voice. see through walls with X-ray vision, and detect a person's nah, he's, state from he's just getting dropped though, oh, bro. But you know you're done for when he breaks out his heat vision, which is strong enough to slice through crowds of people. <laughs> <or> <laughs> split creeping, bro, this or screams so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around him. Those are innocent bystanders whose ears are exploding, by the way. Oh, yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking, so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence. Well, Homelander's powers may be real, but his heroism... Oh, is nah, great. bro. Though he plays his part well, he cares nothing for the peons he's forced to protect. The only thing he treasures is, ironically, his public image. Turns out being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. But don't worry. He, <laughs> he looked like he got all internal issues. 100% healthy. Oh, hell no. Nah. What the fuck he is wrong with him? Happened to be an actual Nazi. She was a Nazi. Oh, I got to go back and watch that shit. We should figure out how she oh, shit. Lois, uh, get busy. Well, forget that because Homelander proved that they can't when his ejaculation blew his partner to smithereens. 
Who drew that? Look, there's no way Wait. to coat this. Wait. Whoa. Like humans P. Buzz? P. Buzz. P Buzz. And killed the bit? Moving significantly faster to achieve the same. P. Buzz and killed the bit? 100 meters per second, or 4.5 times faster than sound. That's right. Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound. Well, good night, everybody. Ooh, kind of sucks for humanity that they made this dude the most powerful being on the planet. And oh, nah, nah, no bro. What type of fucking power is that? Immune to every weapon known to mankind, no matter how powerful. Humanity literally lacks the ability to kill him. That'd include nuclear weapons as powerful as the Tsar bomb, which exploded with the Bro. energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, oh, it could man. have exploded with twice that. But the Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and This man got a killer bus. That's right. We all almost This died. man got a murdering bus. This bus. man got a one shot Destroy one kill bus. Jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around him. Though it probably wasn't too smart to piss off the world's angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Whoa. Some small measure of control over his own life. Being born Vaunt's star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. His superpowered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. Or not <laughs> he pushed this that motherfucker off by mint mobile <laughs> he just pushed that motherfucker off oh. what if he would have died bro what if he would have died but did you know damn how many ads they got bro and sponsors they got just 15 dollars a month the catch whiz what's the catch? Hey, what? there isn't one mint mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only they cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings to you. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate, whether you're buying for one or your whole family. So I, so I got to call Mint customer Mint service. Mint I can't go into the store. No, nah, that sounds like a trap. You can even use your own current phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. I'm excited to try it out myself. I appreciate how easy nah. all their wireless plans on their website. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash death battle. That's mintmobile.com slash death battle. Mm -hmm. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash death battle. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data. I still think Omni Man about to flush this, bro. This man used his body to kill people. <laughs> Who are they making him go home? Howdy, neighbor. Coco? <laughs> Who in his crib? <laughs> no, no, one. Homeland. This motherfucker in his crib, he's tripping. <laughs> it might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. And it's very important. He's wilding right now. You're about to die, fool. <laughs> he's about to kill this man. <laughs> if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien. What's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? Oh, oh she's shy. He killed it. We have an understanding. Get the fuck out of my country. <laughs> oh shit! Yo! Oh my fucking god! I'm going to feed you your own heart. <laughs> shit! That was a great line. <laughs> Oh yeah, stop playing with Gate Witty. <laughs> Boy, stop playing. Country. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. <laughs> Bro, you just killed about six families. Eight. <laughs> hey, this, this shit low key fire in the music key. Dip, instant transmission, grabbing your head. I'm about to do I'm about to do the same thing I did to my son. Oh, they ain't tripping. Bro, he caught his laser beam. Never been hit by 
by someone your own size before? You have to turn with the punch to reduce. <laughs> he beating his head. Better. Oh, he about to power drive and shit. Oh, they killed the whole neighborhood. Oh, shit. What's the matter? Oh, he's spazzing. They tripping. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. He really fed him his fucking heart. He really fed this motherfucker his heart. Oh shit. Whoa, he whoa, he wilding right now. Merry Christmas. If there's a god, it sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, relatively speaking. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. Nah, bear, that motherfucker just a... grabbed his whole fucking face. Oh And then it said Merry Christmas. It went on about his holiday. If there's a gun, it sure seems like he was Yo. working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, relatively speaking. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Homelander can that move shit under, while crazy. Can the twice over. To be fair, Homelander did have a couple of Yo, it better been quick. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed against continuous I knew Omni Man was going start, flushing, but I didn't think he was going to really feed him his heart. No reason to think Homelander's <laughs> vision was anywhere huh. that hot. Huh. 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 Get over here, give me your heart. Bro, y'all see how wrecked that was? He he grabbed his jaw, broke it, boom. Similarly, Open hand, his grabbed his heart, threw it, threw it, brought it back out. That alone damn near killed him. Threw it a fucking heart in his throat. Now he choking, can't breathe. Then he squished his head and his heart. So his brain and his heart both gone. He can't breathe. It's, it's over. Never had to push himself as a fighter because he was always so much stronger than everyone else. And that's the key difference between them. One is a warrior and the other is a bully. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. When it comes to Superman <laughs> knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. Yo. The winner is Omni-Man. Yo, that is wreck. Oh my God, that was just wreck as fuck. Okay, I think I might be ready to go box some people. That shit was wild. I'm not even going cat. That's gonna be. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. <laughs>